Emotions. What are emotions? Hi, I'm Allie Beerman, and I'm so glad you came by here today to discover what the heck are emotions anyway, and why are they driving my life nutsy? You can find me over at your relationshipintelligence.com. So, here's the basic truth in emotion is energy in motion. Everything that exists is pure energy. Me, you, the chair you're sitting on, everything inside a person, everything outside a person, including the seemingly empty space, is energy. And actually, today's science has caught up with the fact that you can measure all that energy. So, when you are having a feeling, it's because there's a thought going on inside, maybe out of your awareness, and by having the emotion, by having the feeling, you get to see what you're thinking. Pretty cool the way that works, don't you think? So, what can you do with all those emotions going on inside you? so that they stop hurting you. First of all, recognize, events just are. They don't have meanings. They don't make you happy or sad. They don't make you frustrated or angry. You do that. How do you do that? Well, you have all these files in your subconscious mind, and you have a different file for each kind of feeling that goes on in there. And when you see an event or circumstances happening in your subconscious mind, all this activity happens. It says, whoa, hey, this is some stuff that might happen because there was a similar circumstance before. Notice I did not say did happen. Remember Mark Twain said, I lived a long and full life filled with experiences and worries, most of which never happened. That's a paraphrase. <laughs> Don't quote me exactly. So, you go back into your past. You pull out that reaction. No response, no thinking, no contemplating. What's the consequence? Is it real? Is it imagined? No, none of that. You just pull up that reaction and throw it out there in the world. How's that serving you? Well, everything in your life is really based in emotions. Let me show you the extent to which. First of all, remember I'm a specialized kinesiologist. I practice Qigong. I'm also a metaphysical minister. So I work in the energy realm. And this is a book of acupuncture points. I mean all oh, the acupuncture points. I'm not sure you can see them. So the Chinese use the meridians differently, use the acupuncture points differently. And the bottom line is everything is still energy. Here's how I use them. Every meridian has a very specific emotional theme. And along that meridian, every single point on the meridian has a very specific aspect of that theme. Let me show you another thing I do. I have a number of dictionaries of emotions because everything that happens in life has at its basis a relationship disconnect which happens in emotions. So for instance, here's my most often used dictionary. That's just a list of the basic emotions. I then open it to whatever a person's spirit tells me is bugging them at the time. So let's just say that what came up was the word groovy. So I look up groovy in this dictionary and what it says is in the swing of things, having rhythm, superior, nifty, marvelous, super, terrific, wonderful, now, your spirit records emotional disconnects and emotions so specifically 
it wouldn't just tell me groovy it would tell me which one or two of those words apply to whatever stagnation we're looking to clear emotions are carrying you into your pain so what's good about emotions well your emotions let you know what you're thinking because after all you only spend five percent of each day in conscious awareness something you can change something only you can change that means the other 95 percent it's going on down there outside of your awareness now that brings me into how you get your feelings hurt events just are they don't have meanings you assign the feeling that you want to get because an event happened now that means if something happens that made you feel angry or frustrated or sad or disappointed and on and on and on it's your choice to assign the meaning to that event again you're going back you're living unconsciously you're pulling up our reaction instead of stepping out looking at the event saying hmm i wonder how i can respond differently because that will serve you so here's what you can do when something happens that upsets you let's talk about being frustrated or angry okay now the first thing to do if you're around somebody let's say toddler i had a toddler a long time ago he has his own toddler now who had tantrums and poor thing it was a long time before i figured out the tantrums were happening because he was hungry or tired well regardless of what was causing them it was my job to diffuse the emotion it's your job when you're around somebody who's got something heavy duty going on with an emotion it's always 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 because they're stuck in that emotion and they don't know how to get rid of it and they're going to go to that place in your presence because they know you love them they know you're not going to stop loving them in other words they feel safe with you I learned that firsthand when that same toddler grew up as a teenager he came home one day and he was taking out anger on me and then he stopped and he said mom I know it's not about you it's something that happened at school but I know you won't stop loving me so you're here and I can get rid of the feelings I mean he actually said that to me pretty insightful don't you think well you think maybe that would serve you so in other words if you're with somebody who's in any kind of emotional state the first thing to do is use i messages and help them express their feelings and the more they express them the more they get rid of them and then when you have somebody who's in a calm place and probably an exhausted place maybe you can talk to them about an alternative step to take or maybe just let them relax because they'll work it out themselves so many years ago i created something for myself i call a three minute rule if somebody does something that really makes me angry really makes me frustrated really makes me sad well first of all i recognize Ooh, they didn't do that i did that by my interpretation oh here's the thing to be aware of most people aren't trying to hurt you or upset you most people don't even know they hurt you or upset you sure there might be a person here and there who intentionally is running out his anger but that's less commonly the case so what my three minute rule is i'll let myself feel this crummy emotion for three minutes i will set a timer i'm literally talking three minutes and then in three minutes i move on why how the heck does it serve me to stay in an emotion that's draining me answer 
it doesn't serve me, it hurts me. It will physically hurt me. It will physically damage my health, physically and emotionally. So when somebody says, but you don't know what that person did. You don't know what that person said. And I just want to really get them back. How is that going to serve you? Is that really going to leave you feeling better? Here's what you can do instead. You do your three minute rule. And then, because you can step out of it, look at the situation. Send that person who just upset you, who you interpreted as doing something that upset you, send that person love. Because love is the only thing that heals all. And you can't send love unless you're feeling it. So when you fill yourself with love, it's going to change not just your demeanor, but your physical body. It's going to change your posture. And it's certainly going to change your energy. Now, how can you... Oh, I'm so, so what you're doing after you send them love is you look back and think, Okay, this event happened. I felt that way. What is there here for me to recognize so that I can change who I am? Not just how I am, but who I am. Because that person's giving you a gift. Look across your life. Notice the same problems, the same issues come up. Only they're coming from different people in different circumstances, causing them. I see the universe saying, y'all wake up. It's time to move forward in your life and stop being stuck and here's your gift. You look for the gift in the situation. You have to become somebody who thinks thoughts you've never thought. So you can have feelings you've never felt, which allows you to take actions you've never taken before. Who do you have to become because of the gift? That person those people give you by creating a similar circumstance. That's the most powerful gift I can share with you. Now, how do you prevent getting into an argument? I discovered this when I was married. One day when the pattern was happening, I said to myself, hmm, it takes two people to have an argument. I'm not gonna participate. So I didn't really frustrated him because I wouldn't argue with him. I just wouldn't be part of it. Here's what I did instead. I listened. I paid close attention to everything that he was accusing me of. Because you know what it did? It gave me very clear insight into what was going on in his head and in his mind because the things that we dislike in other people are actually the parts of us we don't want to acknowledge. Think about somebody you know who is very judgmental. What is it they're judging people about? You know darn well they're doing those behaviors that they're judging and accusing others of doing. So same thing in an argument. So you prevent being dragged into an argument and you can allow for healing because that puts you in a place where you can just silently send love to the person and they'll back down. They'll just <laughs> stop trying to draw you into the fight. And again, that's how you heal past hurts. You literally change the hurts by looking for the gift of who you got to be, of the new actions you got to take because an event happened the way it did. Those people aren't trying to hurt you, they're trying to gift you. Whether or not they succeed, well, that's up to you and your interpretation. Now, how would you resolve friendship splits? As with anything in your life, look and see how does it serve you to have this split going on in your life? Because I'll bet you anything, it's not serving you. And it's certainly not healing any relationships. 
So what action are you going to take today that's different from what you've done in the past so that you can heal an emotion, specifically with someone that you really wish wasn't the state of that relationship? Go on down there. Show us. Share with us. Let us know. And the cool thing you'll discover, when you're smiling, you literally change the chemicals running in your body. You will feel good, and the other person will get that energy. You don't have to say anything to them. Just smile and have good thoughts of loving them. Because remember, you got to love yourself first before your message, your energy goes out as love. Again, I'm Ellie Beerman. You can find me at yourrelationshipintelligence.com.